Hold on to your butts. These are the Squashbuckler Diaries. Welcome back. My name is Guy Hasson, and you are listening to the Squash Buckler Diaries podcast, the daily epic fantasy podcast about Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. It's a daily podcast. We follow her life from birth to death. She's going to be a major heroine, even at age two and three and four and five and almost six, which is what we're covering in, uh, at, uh, in season one. She does amazing things. So imagine what she'll be like when she grows up. Now, we were just done doing like a nine-part uh, small arc about death. It was pretty amazing. If you hadn't listened to it, go back and listen. There are secrets of the dream. Joy was three years old. And now we return to something that happened quickly after. But I would like you to understand how this is built. So we are in episodes right now 170-something. In episodes 160-something, we had this big saga. Joy had her first ice cream. We learned a lot about death and about Joy and the dream. And the red dragon was there, and she was part of the adventure. And now, in uh, 130 episodes in the future, the episode that will be called 304. So you can check it out at the website where it's now 303. There's a numbering issue. It'll be 304 in, in a couple of days. So... Episode 303 or 304 is an episode called Dragon Lil. And it's based, it happens right after, the day after the Red Dragon said bye to Dragon Lil. She told her a story, as you heard. She got a kiss and she, and she said, you know, something doesn't have to, to, and she said something to, 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 to little dragons like you. And, uh, uh, Joy found it amazingly, uh, uh, joyful to that, uh, the red dragon calls her a little dragon, which, of course, uh, she's human. But uh, she's she's three, and she found it uh, great. And uh, what does Joy do with that? You can uh, skip to uh, episode 304, or you can check it out the website. Uh, and um, stuff happens. Stuff connects. And that's how it's built. Okay, I won't tell you what happened. But, but also, this episode connects to those to that arc. So, how does it connect? Let's see. Episode 175, Joy Screams for Ice Cream. By the way, based on a real story, I'll get to that. Joy's age three, told by the Red Dragon. It was only a few days after the long day Dragon Little Dragon Father and I had spent in the amusement park eating an ice cream cone sized for a dragon that three-year-old Dragon Little and Dragon Father were whizzing away in a flying pirate ship, Bunny's Revenge, in pursuit of some villains. It would be a slightly long flight to the villain's planet and the two were at the helm talking to each other when suddenly Dragon Little said, Dad, I want ice cream. I'm not going to get you ice cream. We're in the middle of an adventure. I want ice cream. Just make ice cream appear. Don't be ridiculous, Joy. I can't make things appear and disappear, and I will not stop the chase just to get you ice cream. Get me ice cream now. I will not get you ice cream whenever you want it. That's not healthy. Get me ice cream now. No, I'm not going to get some. You will go out and get some. Dragonfather sighed. You know what? I'm going to think about it. You are not going to think about it, Dragon Little stomped her leg. You know what? I think I won't get ice cream, he said calmly. You will, you will, you will. No, I'm not going to get ice cream, and that's that. Dragon Little sulked a bit, made a face, and then looked up at her father. Okay, you can think about it. Told by the Red Dragon. Hashtags Joy Justin Ice Cream. And this is part of what the Squash Buckler Diary is all about. It's a slice of life. It shows us who Joy is. It shows us what it's like to be in the dream. And by the way, and haha, based on a real story, this actually happened. This happened uh, with uh, one of my girls 
who you can't win arguments with. And uh, one time, you know, you just wouldn't do it. And she said, eventually, she, okay, you can think about it. Based on a real story, the Squash Buckler Diaries and the Lost in Dreams books are exactly that. They are albums of our lives together. And when they look at it in the future, when they grow up, when they read everything, they will remember who they were and who we were as a family. And that's what that's about. Also, nice to see that Justin claims that he can't make things appear and disappear. I'm just saying. Join us next time for Pirates in Dresses. Yep. And now, the credits. The Squash Buckler Diaries are written and read by me, Guy Hassan. All the tags mentioned in this story are searchable at the website. You can find all the stories there in written form and in fact 150 Squash Buckler Diaries more. The Squash Buckler Diaries is the diary of Joy Shelley, the girl who lives in dreams. She'll be called the Forgotten Girl by her father. She'll be a true heroine. She'll change the world. This project shows her entire life from birth to death. Check out the website at guyhasson.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N.com. I've been an author and playwright for more than 30 years, and this is the first time I've used the guyhasson.com website because the girl in the dream is my life project. If you have questions, if you want to comment, please do. You can comment at the website or email me at guyhasson at gmail.com. That's G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, G-U-Y-H-A-S-S-O-N, at gmail.com. The theme music is called Brass Gentleman and is created by Thomas Harudek. My name is Guy Hasson, and this is my life project. Come back tomorrow and tomorrow and tomorrow for more. Thank <laughs> you.